Hello, my name is Art Gugulski of Fago Automation Chicago office. Today we're going, we'll be going over center part calibration with automated probe in the spindle. For this tutorial, we'll be using a vertical machining center, which already been homed and the probe has been calibrated. Tools have been calibrated. Let's get started. From main menu, we go to jack mode. On our machine, we have two parts already loaded. We have part number one, which will be using G54 for the storage of the zero offset in the table. Part number two, we'll be using G55 for the storage of the data of the part zero. We can show you how this works by looking on the screen and looking at the machine. I can press MDI. When I do it first time, I like to make the MDI shrink and I put it on the top. It's more visible when you see all the parts going or moving. We're gonna activate G55 offset. So we type G55. If you wanna learn this G code, you can press interactive help key to tell you, explain to you what this, what this G code means. So we have 100 zero offset on this control and we are be using number one which is G54. Press escape to go back, cycle start to activate. As you can notice, we moved over the coordinate system to part two. Part two is the six inch by six inch black. Part one is more or less seven inch by seven inch black. Escape. The tool has already been, tool probe has already been put in the spindle. We are using tool number 10 for probe. And you can see the status of the probe being activated or not. The machine can have two probes. Probe number one is for the touching tools. Probe number two is in the spindle for touching parts. Let's test the probe if it's functioning. We're gonna continue in jack mode. And we still gonna move the probe over the part number two. Move the x-axis first. It's just gonna be over the surface of the part number two. Move the y-axis a little bit closer. Now slowly moving down Z, I'm gonna decrease the feed rate to lower number when we get close. I don't wanna touch it with the manual hand, I'm going to introduce the G-code to touch. So I'm pretty close to the surface. I will turn off my hand wheel. It's good to show you the graphics where we are. So we are pretty much almost touching the part. Now I'm going to test using G-codes for probe motion. MDI. I will be doing G100, help. So G100 is the probing G code to tell the machine to move till you see the touch. When the probe is touching, the machine will stop. Escape. As you can see, we are close to the surface, 100,000. So I'm, I am expecting touch close to zero. So I'm gonna be probing into Z axis direction, let's say minus, sorry about that, minus 0 0.100. And I'll be doing kind of slow, let's go five inches per minute. When you're ready to do it, make sure feed rate is at zero, cycle start. So the probe is moving very slow towards the minus direction. I stopped. You see the probe being deflected. You see the red light. And also you see the status of the probe on the screen. We have another G code to move off the surface. This G code is G103. Help. So similarly, this G code will make the motion till you are not touching. So I'm gonna be moving off the surface. Escape. 
Z. I'm gonna be moving over, let's say 100,000. And this time I'm gonna go quite slow. I'm gonna go one, one inch per minute. Why? Because I am already on the surface. There's gonna be very little motion to get off. So what happened is doing a, what we call double touch, we are very precisely on the surface. We are just three tenses away from the surface. So somebody makes some good calibration already. Okay, so this completes the test for the probe working or, or being connected properly. You never wanna leave the probe like this. The next step is to jug it away slowly from the surface. I will show you the advantage of Fego control. I can jack that one axis at a time, Z, and make sure you press plus to go plus direction. It is very slow motion because we just program one inch per minute, but I can wrap it with the rapid key. Let me show you again. Slow motion with the key and rapid key make it a little bit faster. Now you are away from the surface. I'm gonna jack away all axes together. Select X, Y, Z together, and I want to go plus. So we're ready for part centering. We start with part number one, and then we continue with part number two. Part number one, we activate with MDI zero offset. MDI, we press MDI, G. 54, cycle start. You notice that our coordinate system shifted to part number one. Now I'm gonna take the handle and jack the probe towards the packet. So what is our job? We have a part which already been machined and has a nice center point, which is a packet three inch by three inch. So I will be using a center part cycle, automated cycle, you select from the jack mode. Let's enter the data. The field number one is the probe tool number, which is number 10, offset number one. We'll be probing a different type of features. I can use the key, toggle key, to select different types of probing motions. Uh, we want to select the square packet or rectangular packet. Always press enter when you selected the icon. Now we're going to be selecting which direction we are approaching. You can see at the bottom, we can go X, Y minus, X plus. We'll be approaching from X plus direction. Enter. This one is, you can have two points probing on the first side or single point. Okay, what, what is this good for? This, this is good for squaring the part on the, finding the angle, if maybe the part is rotated on the angle. With part number one, we, can, we have a choice to enter this data. Enter. Are we gonna measure the Z surface? In other words, are we touching the surface after we finish the packet? Yes, we are in the middle of this packet. We have a nice dimension of half inch depth. So the answer is yes. You toggle till you see yes, you see yes, press enter. So now we can take advantage of the graphics screen. So we select graphics. And I can pretty much take advantage of teaching mode. I can enter the probe inside the packet where will be my first point. There is quite simple idea but you just have to be careful. So we're gonna move the y-axis to the center of the part, move the z down till we are below the surface. Okay, we're gonna use double touch. So we wanna be kind of a little bit off center here. X-axis is kind of critical. We'll be going to the X positive direction, which is I'm doing it now. And you want to be close to the surface, not too close. A little bit down on the Y. Looks like a good spot. We're going to off the handle mode. So you can see on the screen how I position my tool or probe inside the part. 
Okay, let's go back to my data entry screen. We have to navigate to the x-axis position. We can take advantage of the teaching mode. You can see the numbers on the screen. X-axis is right here. And we're going to use recall to enter the x-axis position into this field. So we find the key recall and press enter. Recall the y position, enter. And recall the z position, enter. Double check the numbers. Those are the same numbers as physical position of the probe at the moment. How big is the part? We have to enter the length on x-axis, 3 inches. Y-axis, 3 inches, is the square. Safety distance. Safety distance is the approach of the probe till you see the deflection. I put half inch because we are more or less over, you know, in the window of half inch. The window will be actually two times the safety distance. Half inch is a good number. Enter. Probing feed rate. This is the first touch probing feed rate. In my example, just seconds ago, I was running five inches per minute. You know, 20 is a good number. Enter. Safety distance after the first touch. So this is how much the probe will back off. 100,000 is a good number. And how fast you're gonna do the second touch, three inches per minute. When we finish touching on the side X, Y coordinates, we wanna move Z up for the final surface touch. We'll be using one inch safety distance, one inch. The next field is, do you wanna apply angle rotation or not? You can toggle with this key, but we don't, for this, at this moment, we're not gonna apply pattern rotation. Enter. We have two choices here. We can do approach feed rate between measuring points, slow or fast. Rapid is full speed. I would recommend to go slow. Enter. Now, when you say slow, it's still pretty fast. It's 500 inches per minute in, in my machine. Enter. The next topic is, after I finish probing, I would like to indicate where is my part zero preset located. I'm gonna toggle, and wow, you can see the picture showing me the location of my pa part zero. For this job, I would like to have a part zero in the center of the part, right here. Part origin preset in the indicated point in the center. Press enter to confirm. Zero, enter, zero, enter. How deep is the part? We'll be touching in the middle of this part. Again, from the drawing, we see half inch. <clears throat> so we are zero on the top, minus half inch at the bottom. Enter. This key will allow me to activate the zero offset table when it's finished. So I have a choice not to activate offset, activate the offset. This is part number one. We'll be using offset G54. Well, G54 is number one in the offset table. Enter. We have a choice or option to turn on M code before the cycle and after the cycle. The M code 71 will activate the spindle probe battery. You know, if you have a battery, it will activate, it will turn it on. M70 will turn it off. So it's a good idea to enter those numbers unless the machine builder already takes care of it. Well, this completes all the data. One more thing. I want to make sure that I move the spindle away or part probe away from my job. You can see the probe is still sitting inside. For safety, you want to go Z plus. little bit away on the YX. So at this moment we are safe in the safe position away from the job. Center part. Data is already entered. Feed rate to zero. Cycle start. Feeling confident today we'll be running full speed. 
you can see the graphics mode when it's running. So we can see what is the probe doing. Touching one side, X plus, now touching X minus, Y minus and Y plus. Those motions are finished, it's gonna go to the center and touch the Z. Cycle is finished, we can review the data. Offsets. So this is where the data go. G54, all those numbers are calculated from the position we touch the part. We can activate this offset by applying cycle start. If you notice the numbers didn't change, we are good to go for the touching the second part. Part number two, we'll be working with G55. So let's activate MDI G55 cycle start. We're gonna use the same idea, but in this case, we'll be touching the outside of the part. So we wanna position the probe on the outside this time. This is a six by six, by six inch square. We're gonna be below the surface, kind of maybe closer to the middle, a little bit closer on Y, on X. Okay, looks good. So we will record that number for our part centering cycle. Center part. Let's review the data. Tool 10 for spindle probe, offset one. Toggle the cycle. We're gonna use the boss centering or rectangular part centering cycle, enter. We're gonna use the same approach, X plus, enter. We're gonna use single touch this time. There is a, the part is kind of already machined, so I wanna use single touch. Now we have a choice of one axis probing, two axis probing, double touch probing. Well, we're gonna use two axis probing, enter. Now this part, when I go to the center of this part, it's already been machined, so I don't have a good surface to touch in the center. So I'm gonna skip the surface measure cycle on the Z-axis. I'm gonna toggle it, press enter. We are ready to record the data. We did it already. The idea is to press recall. The data for X-axis has been copied to the field for X-axis. Enter, recall. Enter, recall, enter. How big is the part? Six inches, six, enter, six, enter. We're gonna use the same half inch safety, 20 inch per minute feed rate for first touch, 100,000 for safety to move away from the first point, three inches for the second probing motion, one inch over the part going over to the next pad. <coughs> We're gonna keep the same feed rates, 500 for slow approaches. Now this time, I would like to select my origin point to be in that corner, enter. We're gonna make it zero, zero at this point. I would like to record the data into offset number two. Offset number two is G55. Looks like we're ready to go. I would like to jack it away. Go to graphics mode, you can see my part. I shift it a little bit. I would like to jack it Z-axis away, take the handle. Now we wanna make sure we go plus. A little bit faster. Maybe move X away. And we're ready to run the next part. Center part. Feed rate at zero. 
Sai Custard. Touching the X direction first, then we're gonna move over to the X minus direction above the part. You can see the double, double touch action. Moving over the Y direction. And the Y plus direction. Cycle is completed. The data will go to the table for G55. We can review it. Offset, G55, new numbers. Select. Now we can press Cycle Start to activate. G55 is activated. We can test it by going X0. When you, when you finish the cycle, the feed rate is very low for safety. So if, you, if you're jogging with the feed rate of one feed rate, it's going to be slow. So what we need is to activate higher feed rates by pressing F, uh, 100, oops, 200. Cycle start. X, zero. Cycle start. Y, zero. Cycle start. So that's my zero, zero point of this part. So at this moment, we're ready for production. We have two parts on the screen. I can show you part number one, part number two, overall view. We can see both parts sitting on the table. Machine is ready for setup for two G codes, G54, cycle start. G55, cycle start. The part program can be loaded and we can execute the part program to cut the part. If this video helped you out, please give us a like and subscribe for more content. If you have any suggestions for the next video, leave a comment below. Thank you.